What up? That's the Miss Water. Welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Mel. Bam. Welcome, S and M Squad. Oh, yeah. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn it around right now with some good energy and some good news. Um, All right. Babe, what exactly do we have here? Okay, today we'll be reacting to Wendy Williams diagnosed with dementia and aphasia. Oh my God. This is really sad. Wendy. Wendy Williams. I, I never would have thought, thought it. Wow. Never, never, never. All right, so guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's good, go. Good news. Let's see what we got. Bam! Bam. Prayers going out to Wendy Williams yes, and the family. most definitely. Wow, guys. With the Here family. we go. Let's see what we got. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Wendy Williams always said she wanted to come back to daytime television but she has an even bigger challenge than anyone would have imagined. We're learning that the former talk show host has been diagnosed with a form of dementia. Stephen Fabian has details. Heartbreaking news. Wendy Williams is suffering from dementia and aphasia, the same disorder that has stricken actor Bruce Willis. In a press release issued today under Wendy's name, her care team reveals after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. It says aphasia is impacting Wendy's language and communication abilities, and it calls her dementia a progressive disorder, impacting behavior and cognitive functions. The news broke just moments before The View came to an end today. We wanted to uh, update update you on some news that has just broke concerning Wendy Williams. Wendy and her care team just released a statement that she's been diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia. Our hearts go straight out to her. Wendy's care team says the diagnosis came after the legendary talk show host underwent a battery of tests here at Wild Cornell Medicine in New York City. That information was released as speculation mounted about her whereabouts. Now, right now, she's in an undisclosed facility known only to her court-appointed guardian. Even her own family says they have no idea where she is. What? Wendy's niece, Alex Finney. Hold on, can I do that? Doesn't that sound crazy? Hold on, so the her family, family has her. no Where's idea. That's scary. So the court got a legal... Uh, wow, this is... This is some scary is stuff. Unreal. It sounds unreal. Like, how can they do that? How can they she take family. the rights away from the family? And it's court ordered? Like, wouldn't it be, you know, in their best interest to have a family, a close ones, to take care of her? Oh, wow, my man. goodness. Poor Wendy. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. That sounds dangerous. This is sad appeared on The View promoting the upcoming Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? Her ultimate decision was that everybody's telling my story, no matter how painful it is, I want to tell it. She didn't say a word about the dementia Alex, diagnosis, which was announced by Wendy's PR team. We spoke to neurologist Dr. Leah Kroll. This is a progressive disorder, and there is no known cure or medication that we could give to slow the disease process down. Um, and so, in general, things will gradually get worse with time. Bruce Willis was forced to retire from acting after his diagnosis in 2022. His family gives regular updates on his condition and shares heartwarming video of him, like this birthday celebration. Right at it. <laughs> you really have to hand it to Wendy Williams and Bruce Willis in terms of how generous and brave it is of them to come out with this. This is not a diagnosis that's easy to be open about at all, and they're doing us such a beautiful service by drawing attention to it. In this just released clip from the documentary, you see Wendy like you've never seen her I've before. Never seen with her her signature wig. glamorous wigs. The documentary is so raw and so revealing that Wendy's niece was asked if the former talk show host is being exploited. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, I respond to that by saying I was not paid. Right. <laughs> Sitting here today, I haven't taken a dime. I have, I'm not getting paid off of this. This is literally just a labor of love and fighting for your family. The Lifetime special Where is Wendy Williams airs in two parts this Saturday and Sunday. Oh, that is 
is so wow. sad. Like I cannot believe that this is happening. This that's a serious is disease horrible. because you can see her eyes bulging and you know her speech slurring and just like just taking over. The scary part about this entire situation wow. is she's basically declining. Okay, there is no known cure for this disease. You see Bruce Willis, he's surrounded by the ones he loved, his family in love for his last days. How can a court order order for Wendy to be taken away, basically taken away from her family? In a disclosed place. What is going on here? Like how? <sighs> Not unless they feel, felt like the family was dangerous or something. But I know she I, got I mean, a son, I don't know. she got a sister, she got a niece. I don't know. I didn't hear anything like that. But I'm just saying, I'm just trying to figure out what would make a court, you know, take a loved one from their family during their last days. And I'm trying to figure out how can her family be a danger to her? These the ones that... I mean, we don't know. No, but I mean, it yeah, just we, sounds we don't like know the insights, but odd. Why take the family away? The family might can help her, you know, at her last moments or whatever is going on. She's in her most life. definitely she declining. I mean, she's her declining. eyes are bulging. Yes, yes. She looks like she's on her way to not even knowing who people are. I mean, I've I've seen dementia before in Alzheimer's. Wow. So like, she looks like she is like on her way to not knowing what's going on she and i've never and seen her without her, her wigs. wigs i, I didn't on I, camera that's not her. wendy like, on. wendy had the long wigs and the makeup and stuff done oh and my goodness prayers going so out sad. to the family that is so sad prayers going out to her son prayers going out for, for wendy wow this seems like abuse by the by the system it seemed like if she was in her right mind um this wouldn't be, you know, she would have a family. I have to. Opposed to having someone appointed by the court. Yes, I want to do more research on this because this, something be. is missing. There's a missing piece. Like, <sighs> you know, I feel safe for Bruce. He's around his family. They're showing him so much love. He's celebrating. He's, he's surrounded by love during this but difficult time. Hand, it seems like Wendy is so in like an institution. It seems like she's not safe, it seems like. Her family doesn't know where she is. I would be what? terrified. Hold on. There is definitely a missing piece. Something that, you know, something is not that's being not told. being said. Right, exactly. So prayers going out to the family, yes. the Williams family, the Willis family. This is very sad and unfortunate two of our favorite celebrities of course we love yes. Bruce willis oh my goodness we watched and wendy williams for years love when the wendy williams show and she you was know. so sharp yeah you know she did, she she, did a good job her mind she was sharp she knew Absolutely. what was going on so to see her decline like this is is really heartbreaking yes and i just want us to continue to cover the story because um uh it, She's Something like a feels icon, really you know, scary about this thing. TV talk shows, you know, she definitely did a thing over the years. Radio, you know. Yep, radio. Yep. Everything. Well. Wow. Wendy, we <clears> are <throat> praying for you. Absolutely. And your family. And your family. All right, guys, go ahead and smash that like button, give this video a big fat thumbs up, and also get inside the comment section. Um, let us know, guys, what you think. Yeah. You know, and if there's any other stories that you guys want us to cover. Why do you guys think that think they took Wendy away from her family? That's the and big they question. They don't know. That's it the was, million dollar question. It was ordered, you know, by a court that her family don't doesn't Seems know strange. she's safe. She got a sister, niece, son. She got a family. And what about wow. her, her her husband? Wasn't she she married? She got she, um, the, Divorced him. Oh, she divorced him. Yeah. What was we don't even um, want to bring him up. I don't want to bring him up. <laughs> I know. I, I know we still care about it. You know. He, I don't know. Oh uh, well, let me just leave that alone. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot his name though. Kevin. That was his name, Kevin. But anyway, guys, um, we just want to you know continue to cover the story. So just let us know what you guys think. 
We sign off on that note. It's your boy Sean. And your girl. Love the pieces. Mel. All right. Yes. Have an amazing day on purpose, SM Squad. Absolutely. Peace.